London's going through a period of major investment in new infrastructure in order to meet the burgeoning population growth, as well as to reduce Londoners' dependency on the motor car in central areas. Development is encouraged around areas with good transport links like King's Cross, Victoria and Paddington, whilst investment in new transport infrastructure is vital for unlocking previously underdeveloped areas. The most significant is Crossrail, a 115 mile long heavy rail system which runs from Maidenhead in the west to Abbey Wood and Shenfield in the east. In the middle, between Paddington and Canary Wharf, the system is tunnelised. Around 200 million people a year will travel by Crossrail. It'll have a major impact on the regeneration of the areas that it passes through, with new public spaces being created and new developments being built around the stations. However, by 2031, growth will have absorbed most of the benefits of Crossrail 1, and Crossrail 2, running from southwest to northeast London, will be needed. £6 billion is being spent on the upgrading of the Thameslink service to provide better north-south rail links, with London Bridge Station benefiting from a 50% increase in passenger capacity. This meets Crossrail at Farringdon, creating one of the busiest interchanges in the capital. Transport for London, which delivers the Mayor's transport strategy, is looking at increasing the number of river crossings east of Tower Bridge. Investment in new transport infrastructure in East London, in the planned extension of the overground line to Barking Riverside, will unlock the development of over 10,000 new homes. The high-speed 2 rail link to Birmingham in the north of England is still at planning stage, but it'll have a major impact on Old Oak Common in the west, where there will be an interchange with Crossrail, and Euston, where the line will terminate. At Nine Elms, an extension to the Northern Line is under construction in order to improve the connectivity to new developments around Battersea Fire Station. London Underground is currently upgrading the tube, both in frequency and quality of rolling stock. The Mayor is investing nearly a billion pounds in new cycling infrastructure with a network of cycle superhighways, quiet ways, suburban cycling and bike sharing. As well as transport, investment is going into improving energy efficiency in London with plans for 25% of the capital's heat and power to be delivered by local decentralised sources by 2025. This is a new pumping station which was built by Thames Water for the Olympics. Thames Water also investing £4.2 billion in the new Thames Tideway Tunnel which will reduce the amount of pollution going into the River Thames. This 32 kilometre long mega drain is expected to be completed by 2023. In spite of this investment, London will also need to employ sustainable urban drainage policies if it is to avoid the risk of flash flooding from increasingly intense rainstorms caused by climate change. These developments will improve the efficiency of London's transport, the experience of passengers and the health and well-being of the city's inhabitants. <laughs>